This is what the Los Angeles Philharmonic looked like at its conception 100 years ago, as chic and formal as ever, but you could count the number of women and people of color on one hand. Still today, less than 10 members of the orchestra are African American or Latino, and that includes celebrated conductor Gustavo Dudamel. You know, we're a long way from it truly representing all of LA. The LA Phil is currently almost three quarters white and just under two thirds male, with low female representation, particularly in the lower strings and brass. Young. Uh, girls and then young children of color, like they don't see people who look like them in symphony orchestras. They don't see, you know, on the posters and in their music classrooms, they don't see composers who look like them. I certainly didn't when I was growing up. I actually like didn't tell people that I was composing for like years and years because I thought it was a thing that boys did. Mathieu is not the only one who has had to second guess herself because of a lack of representation. Pianist Shelby Wong faces the stereotypes of being an Asian musician every time she sets foot on stage. It's something that I do think about when I think like how I'm presenting myself as a performer um, because part of being a performer is how the audience perceives you. So. If I were, for example, to be speaking to the bias of Asians being like technically sound but not very musical, then sometimes I have to think like, hmm, should I add in an extra flourish here or should I add more like facial expressions, for example, so the audience will be like, oh, she's really feeling it. One way the LA Phil is attempting to improve its diversity is the new Resident Fellows program, which for the first time last year brought in one Latino and three African American musicians for the season. Adding these four fellows effectively doubles the number of black and Latino performers in the orchestra. The immediate hope is that they're an inspiration to people a little bit younger than them, and if that process were to continue, then, then hopefully, you know, it would be an inspiration to people at the age when we started. Gustavo Dudamel, the orchestra's music director, has also started the Youth Orchestra LA to provide music education to children from low-income communities. But one program won't solve the issue of arts education for minorities in steady decline. People turn to us and say, like, hey, how come, you know, you're not more diverse and inclusive? And it's like, well, you know, how come society isn't, you know, encouraging kids to, to have access to music and art? And with several major orchestras filing for bankruptcy in recent years, the fate of the industry might rest on reflecting the communities it has failed to attract. Especially for classical music, if this issue isn't addressed, it could easily fall out of favor with younger, more open-minded audiences. After 100 years, the LA Phil has begun taking steps to combat the racism, sexism, and classism associated with the classical music industry, but it remains to be seen whether these initiatives can bring in enough diverse young musicians and audiences to keep it around for the next 100.